stuff because the truth is, is I'm not over it. It's why I still talk about it a year later. It was one of the most traumatizing things ever, like the mean girl behavior. And again, I didn't say anything for so long because like I knew Shane was friends with Jeffrey and Shane would call me and be like, don't make a video. It'll make things worse. Like, and now like looking back, I see like he had told me originally that he also was scared of Jeffrey and was slowly distancing himself from him. It was vile shit has come out even more. I'm not one, but two people that were on that Vegas trip with us that were not on Jeffrey's payroll. That shit is so messed up to me and so evil. And what's so evil is that he's doing this like behind closed doors and like telling people and like planting seeds. He's like this cult leader. And that's why Jay, you know, he, he's like, oh, Jay doesn't represent me. But meanwhile, you're, you're, you, I know, I, they, you know, this is the shit they're talking to each other. And cause, cause that's the shit they were talking to me about me there. And then the first person, his name's Tabs and Tab has a video out and I think it was re-uploaded. Tab was the first person to come forward with this. The second person, I don't really know if he wants to be involved, but the second person to come with me and be like, he said some nasty shit all through last year, all through last year. And I was biting my tongue because Shane was like saying like, oh, even up, up until the last time I saw Shane, he's like, oh yeah, Jeffrey's just really lonely and no problem. Jeffrey's evil up until this last freaking tweet he sent me of Jeffrey saying, um, love you, like going back and forth and then just ending it with like, you have my number. I'm not doing this internet charade. Love you, girl so condescending for for being fucking traumatized and what really set me off today and I will no longer support Shane in any way I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate monger him I'm not you know I I truly believed he changed from all the shit he got canceled for I blindly defended him and all the shit he got canceled for because I was like you know that's a long time ago I never seen that around him like I truly believe he can he changed people change and you know what he, he did change from that. And you know what? He also proves that people do change, but not always for the better. Beyond having him on the podcast and stuff and telling me one thing, being like, I'm scared of him too. I got to slowly, like, I got to slowly distance myself, but like, don't make a video. Like all that stuff to like praising him on the podcast. To today, switching to, it's like, well, he was the only one loyal to me. So I clung into something. That's two different things you're telling me. And then on top of it today, writing me a whole long thing in here if you want to talk but also if you just want to come over postmates and like let's just forget the whole thing forget the whole thing this is something that traumatized me for a full year and Shane and Rylan knew about it two days after this happened ah, it was him texting me saying I asked him where my Balenciaga was that I purchased because I purchased Balenciaga with them and he's like oh we're gonna bring it up to my room and I'm like hey I, I left early that night and I was like hey um where's my Balenciaga he's like Maddie threw it in the trash and I needed that hoodie I needed that hoodie to go home and I am, I will get my old phone and I will look for those text messages because it was so nasty. He gave, gave, he gave me a present or whatever. I put my camera in that present, this bag. He gave the bag away with my camera in it to Rich Lux. And I was like, that's my camera. Like, I just need that back. I don't care about bag. I don't care about gifts. And the fact that they're trying to, oh, he paid for this trip. I can pay for my own trips. But what really triggered me more than anything today, and it's why I will no longer support Shane, and I stand by it, and it's the hardest, it's it's the hardest pill to swallow, is because we have been friends for over 12 years. And in no, and he told me today, oh, I guess I should, I just wanted to believe the stuff you said about, that Jeffrey said about you wasn't true. And like, I was, shaking and traumatized by it I was I was like smacking food out of my hand calling me like like saying I'm poor and all this stuff it's like so triggering and I know I'm 32 and stuff but like I and like I, I have so many clearly I have so many issues but even if I don't have issues even if I have no problems no mental health issues at all like someone just saying that shit and Jeffrey's like well I already apologized and like love you girl just so just so condescending and it's so disgusting it is so disgusting that this that they're so fake that it's so fake I continue to promote him i go so hard to distance myself from anybody that talks shit about them anybody i go so hard vile he's vile and how many people have to come forward and say how nasty he is how horrible horrific the things he says just making fun of people's drug habits this other person on the trip all he did was made fun of like how he was on drugs and he's such a druggie and such a loser like it's it's in it's vile it's vile it's why i distanced myself from that trip i man dm some tab are still on the internet and like i was like hey leave me out of the video i'm scared of jeffrey and i was scared of him for so long because of this because she puts this manipulative spin on it it's like
you're the cult leader and, and all your your followers committed the crime but you don't actually do it so you don't, your hands are clean oh i have nothing to do with this i'm in my wyoming my hands are clean you know you talk shit this is it proves my point jay confirmed it it's just more sad to me is that shane didn't believe me <laughs> his friend of 12 years and believe someone that he's known for three or four years that you Shane, because Jeffrey had the shittiest reputation when Shane redeemed him, gave him his redemption video for you Shane for that. And maybe Shane used Jeffrey too to make a palette, make a bunch of money. And clearly they sold, they like to me, it's like selling yourself to, stuff to the devil. The podcast of having Jeffrey on there to talk about Kanye and stuff like that. That to me is just the root of all evil. Like you sold your soul to the devil. You've heard for years for years Shane saying stuff behind me back and I like did not want to believe it but now I'm seeing it I don't like you know what he's never he's never publicly stood up for me that's fine I get it I'm I'm problematic but you're gonna publicly promote and and share Jeffrey who's who's vile who's been vile to me your supposed best friend like Shane is someone I blindly defended because I really thought he always always had my back the tweet just oh love you girl call me not gonna do this internet charade just absolutely disgusting i saw a hair by jay's apology and honestly i was shocked by it and i'm like like i'm thankful for it i don't like it shows the kind of person he is and honestly any client should think twice before booking with him he showed my phone number on live he gave my phone number to his friend that was braiding his hair like he doxed my business like he's shady as shit honestly, the reason it was brought up is because i was trying to rehash like maybe i was too hard on jeffrey like maybe you know i sometimes i feel bad for him when like i, I like think about stuff and then i'm just like no no he when i hear all the stuff the people keep telling me about like just and it's from multiple people saying the most horrendous thing jeffrey has apologized to me via text and like like i said i i have a bad taste in my mouth from him i i didn't choose to accept the apology that he just was like oh i didn't want to believe it like when i tell you some something happened and you're like my best friend i have nothing to gain from it i didn't do a video like at the least you could do as my best friend is believe me so i'm done i'm done supporting him oh the final thing the reason i wanted to make this whole video is because um I, they did not unfollow me rylan and shane did not unfollow me i unfollowed them and then i blocked them because it was something i just needed to do for me for my own piece of like mine and just like it really felt evil the conversation that we had today and i'm not going to go all the way into it just felt evil as if someone made a deal with the devil and like they were trying to again make it seem like oh I thought this was gonna be okay and you're right and anything I can do anything except the obvious and I just it felt it felt so much evil and I felt so and I've never felt that before I never felt that and I just was like this is off this is something really off because any situation I've been through before he's always just had my back and just always know that I'm truthful with him like the one person I've been truthful more than anybody who knows more things about me than anybody is Shane. But the, sh the Shane I have known for like 12 years has changed. And it sucks. Oh, <laughs>it's shelby welcome back to my channel welcome back to another drama video because this drama is just not stopping um I'm, i apologize in advance if my eyes are a little bit red girl i just tried to film this video my contacts started acting up i had to take them out my eyes are irritated i don't really know what's going on but the drama continues you guys because it looks like trisha paytas has blocked and unfollowed shane adams and uh shane adams shane dawson and ryland adams on twitter and you guys the drama just continues she posted a video tonight a couple hours ago and she's just going in on jeffrey style star how he is a vile human being how he's like a cult leader everything is circling back to this vegas trip that they did last year around valentine's day something happened on that vegas trip and i want to know what it is i want to know what it is because it has been the center of so much drama for over a year now you guys and i am just i i just it's just crazy to me how insane like what could have happened 
what could have possibly happened anyway Trisha Paytas goes off in this video about how she can no longer support Shane Dawson her friend of over 12 years just because of the way that he is choosing to uh respond and um to this whole thing that's going on with her and Jeffree Star right now and uh, if you aren't caught up on the drama, then I have two other videos posted about all of this. Um, Hair by Jay, who is Jeffree Star's wig stylist, went off on Trisha Paytas on Instagram Live. She responded. Now it's between her and Jeffree, and now Shane's getting involved, and the whole thing is now splitting up Shane and Trisha's relationship, which is just so freaking crazy to me that Jeffree Star has the power to end a friendship between two other people that has been going on for 12 years best friends of 12 years that Trisha can no longer support him and no longer publicly or like be his friend because of the way that he chooses to act. She describes Jeffrey like a cult leader, right? And she describes him as a vile human being and just like how everybody like supporting him or like his little like followers and stuff and how like he's just so manipulative. We've known this for a long time, you guys. Jeffrey Star is manipulative. If you don't know it by now, you guys, Jeffrey Star is manipulative. Jeffrey Star is a bad person, okay? It baffles me how people can still sit here and support him and purchase his makeup. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. I have that, that busted ass cremated palette in one of these boxes back here that I bought before all this drama started happening. This, uh, whatever that cremated, like, whatever that came out. And I haven't even opened yet or touched it. I have that busted ass Morphe X Jeffree Star palette in my, in my thing over here. And I haven't even touched it yet because it's just like, I, I cannot bring myself to use his products because I just I, I it makes me like nauseous thinking of how like I'm like me using them is supporting such a sh like a shitty person and that sucks because I have a lot of Jeffree Star Cosmetics products that I spent a lot of money on I just can't I can't wear them anymore I can't I can't do it, it makes me feel really honest in some type of way when I do I feel like a really like guilty about like my conscience is like guilty whenever I wear his products it really upsets me that Jeffree Star and the way that he is has come between between a friendship the one between Shane and Trisha that has been so strong for 12 years and maybe maybe their friendship hasn't been as strong as we think I mean Trisha does say in this video that you know Shane has never publicly defended her and that's true that's true now a lot so Trisha she can be problematic so if people don't publicly defend her I think that she kind of understands that but she goes on to say some other things about how things were were leaked to certain people that only really Shane knew about and so did Shane talk about these things she doesn't think that Shane is really the friend of her that he has been claiming to be for all these years. And, you know, things just, more stuff keeps coming out about Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson been canceled the house for the whole year. Jeffree Star, more stuff keeps coming out, out about him. And a lot of it circled around this Vegas trip. I really want to know what happened in Vegas. And I know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but parts keep coming out. We keep finding out little parts about little stuff and I'm just ready for it. I wanna know what the, exactly the hell happened in Vegas to stir up the, not even just the beauty world anymore, but it's the whole dang YouTube community at this point. Trisha goes on to talk about how uh, she bought a Balenciaga hoodie when she was in Vegas and she left it upstairs in Jeffrey's room or something. And Jeffrey's assistant, Maddie, threw it in the trash. A Balenciaga hoodie. Like, who acts like that? Like, grow the fuck up, Jeffree Star. Grow the fuck up and stop being such a mean-spirited person, you know? She talks about how um, Jeffrey gave her a bag, but it's something about a bag that Jeffrey gave to Rich Lux that had Trisha Paytas camera in it. And basically Jeffrey gifted Rich Lux a bag and Rich, uh, Trisha's camera. I don't know if that's true. Something like that. Just something like, just, just like she goes on to talk about like really nasty, mean, just like cruddy things that Jeffree Star has done to her. 
And she's, she insinuates that it hasn't just been that Vegas trip, that it's just a like little like shit talking, like all year, just like shit talking and shit talking and shit talking. Like, I don't, <sighs> why can't he just stay in his own lane and do his own thing? Why does he have to manipulate and coerce people and have these like little like, Stan like following and the thing is the people that are just like all up on his dick for lack of a better word I really think that it, they're just there because Jeffrey has a lot of freaking money but Jeffrey I mean Jeffrey okay so okay <laughs> we're thinking of like a YouTube spectrum Jeffrey has a lot of money but when we're thinking of like a broad spectrum like he's like right there I mean like he's I mean, the Kardashians have a lot more money than him. You know what I mean? Like, Drake got a lot more money than him. Nicki Minaj, Beyonce got a lot more money than him. There's plenty of people out there that have a lot more money than him. So why does he feel the need to act like he is God? He acts like he's, like, some sort of God. And it's really, really just disgusting, honestly. Anyway, so let me know in the comments down below. I'm starting to rant. I have some food over there. I just got off work, girl, and I had to film the drama because, you know, the drama never sleeps. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to eat my dinner, okay? But, like, let me know in the comments down below what you think about Trisha unfriending and blocking Shane and Ryland on social media. Let me know what you think about all that drama. Um, let me know what you think about the clips of the Trisha video that I'm putting into this video. I want to know all of your thoughts in the comments down below if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below it really helps my channel out and i really appreciate it thank you so much um thank you so much for the love and support on the past couple videos that i have uploaded i will keep doing this as long as you're here so uh, <laughs> thank you so much um you can follow me on all my social media at Beauty by Shelby. That's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Beauty by Shelby. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see some more Beauty by Shelby vibes, then YouTube should be suggesting a couple videos down here for you to choose some. So I would love to choose from. So I would love it if you did that. If you can't and it's your time to go and you were just here to catch up on the tea, then I appreciate your view anyway. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. Um, that's it for today's video, you guys. I'm going to go eat some dinner and I guess I'll see you when the next development in this crazy drama unfolds. <laughs> Bye guys.